Hi, I'm Richard, a professional admissions consultant. I have an 81% success rate of helping students get into Imperial's flagship finance course and the five related finance courses, all of which we'll talk about in this video today. That is 10 times the average Imperial finance acceptance rate, which sits at just 8%. Today, we're going to go through four of the 38 tips to help give you a competitive edge in your finance application. Now, tip number one is to have a fantastic and specific career plan. Imperial is the only university of the top UK universities that has an entire additional section just dedicated to your career plan. These are the career planning questions. And if you thought you could copy and paste your personal statement from LSE, you're gonna be in with a shock the night before you apply when you find you've got three to seven additional questions, including recruitment criteria, what your plan is, and what your backup plans are as well. Therefore, my tip is to download these questions in advance, which means creating your portal onto something like a Google document so that you can work on these specific questions in tandem with your personal statement. If you think you can wing them the night before and they're not important, you're wrong. They look at these questions before deciding whether or not to look at your personal statement, so they are arguably more important than your personal statement. Having this knowledge already gives you an advantage over other candidates. Before we go through my other tips, if you'd like to work with a professional missions consultant, such as myself or one of my amazing team, please contact us using the information on screen now. Now, it's no surprise to you that this is a quantitative course. This is one of Imperial's only courses that requires a high 2-1 or a first class, which means they expect you to have a first class. That's 70% or above in the UK, a 4.0 GPA in the US system, and we'll put in the description a international conversion chart to help you from whichever country you are applying from. You therefore must have a long track record of maths. Interestingly, this course does not require the GMAT, making it the only top-rated finance course that doesn't require a GMAT, but that does make it even harder to get into because it, of course, attracts more competitors. So you want to be looking at which of the courses is most suitable for you. There are five alternative courses you can use. Investment and wealth management increases your chances from 8 to 10% and is the only specialist course on asset and wealth management if you want a career in those programs. Now, if you are looking for something even more quantitative, there is of course a maths and finance course, also at 80%, but that is a quantitative course that sits in the mathematics department. Strategically speaking, and these are the tips we give for our clients, you want to be looking at anything that can give you a higher percentage rate. There is a 12% acceptance rate, that's almost 50% higher than the core finance course at the FinTech course, Risk Management and Financial Engineering, another very rigorous quantitative course that will really help you if you want to do any uh, quantitative work or financial engineering, and of course, Accounting and Finance. Choosing the right course and making your career plan and career planning questions specific to that course and that route is the key to getting a place over the other 11 people applying for that same spot. Now, my final tip for Imperial Finance related courses is to smash the interview. This is a Kira software interview. It is a rather strange interview in which you will be asked a pre recorded question such as, Hi, tell us about your weaknesses. It will then cut to black and you are left staring at an empty camera. This can be very daunting and enough to put you off for those five questions they're going to ask you that you might actually lose your entire place. Myself and my team have amassed over 200 past Kira prep software questions. We help people with Zoom recordings to record themselves, see what they're like, and of course we can replicate asking questions and then cutting off so you sit there for your 60 to 90 seconds. By preparing for what can be thrown at you in these interviews, you are going to be more confident, more relaxed, and much better able to sell your unique selling points and career plan to help you earn admittance to this fantastic course.
Now that is just four of the 38 tips that we have to help give our students a competitive edge when applying to Imperial Finance and related master's courses. If you'd like to work with myself or one of the brilliant ex-mission staff and professional university consultants in our network, please contact us using the information on screen now and in the description below. There's also the five pillars of any personal statement, because you will be asked for a personal statement, Imperial, in addition to your career planning questions, and you can get an exemplar personal statement by subscribing into the information in the description below. Lastly, it really helps us if you can give us a like and subscribe. And why not comment? If you have a burning applications question, we'll try and get back to it as quickly as we can in the comment section below. And check out our other videos on Imperial, LSE, LBS, Oxford, Cambridge, and more on our YouTube channel. Best of luck in your applications.